Gunshot detectors are being installed across three square miles of Durham this month. It's called Shot Spotter, and it's used in more than 100 cities around the country. But is it effective at stopping crime? WRO Sarah Kruger spoke with researchers who've spent years studying this and with a police department using it every day. New data from the Durham Police Department show there have been more than 400 shootings in the city this year. As residents and elected officials here debate if Shot Spotter will have an impact, I wanted to speak with those who have worked with it firsthand. It's a sound Winston-Salem residents hear hundreds of times a year. Gunshots in their city. Looking for solutions, city leaders decided to give Shot Spotter a try. So I was a skeptic at first, I'll admit. Captain Amy Golden with Winston-Salem PD oversees the Shot Spotter program. The concept took some getting used to. Sensors that detect shots fired and pinpoint their locations is not something she could have imagined when she started as a patrol officer more than 20 years ago. So this was new for everybody and um, we were, you know, hesitant, I guess, to see how it worked. Now that she has seen it in action, the hesitation is gone. And allows us to get there faster. Um, you know, and getting there faster saves lives. It identifies witnesses, increases the amount of witnesses that may, we may be able to come into contact with to help us solve that crime. She recalls one occasion where a man was shot. No one ever called 911, but because of shot spotter, officers were dispatched and he survived. But that's worth it. I mean, that's what we're here to do. Dr. Anna Goldenberg Sandow has similar success stories. We saw like just gunshot after gunshot. She's a trauma surgeon in Camden, New Jersey. Around Around 2013, she started noticing patients were arriving at the hospital more quickly than before after being shot. We couldn't figure out how they were coming in, why they were coming in so fast. Um, and then that's when I learned about the whole idea of shot spotter. She studied years of data, then published an academic article in 2019. It credits shot spotter with improving response times. That, she says, is critical for a patient's chance of survival. Yet not all studies of the technology technology have been favorable. We found that um, there wasn't any significant reductions in violence from a statistical perspective. Mitch Doucette with John Hopkins University published a paper last year which found cities with shot spotter did not see a reduction in homicides. We also found that um, things like weapons related arrests as well as homicide clearance rates um, did, were not affected. Uh, by the implementation of the technology as well. Both Dr. Goldenberg Sandow and Doucette agree more research on shot spotter is needed and they're doing it. So Meanwhile, police now. departments are doing informal day-to-day -day research of their own on the job. Captain Golden says while she understands hesitations, people in Durham should keep an open mind. And I think, you know, it's incumbent upon, you know, each agency that implement shot spotter to evaluate that balance and determine, you know, the value of it for the community. But so far for us, it's been beneficial, yes. Sarah Kruger, WRAL News, Durham. Five cities in North Carolina use shot spotter right now. Charlotte used to use it, but they got rid of it in 2016. When Sarah contacted them for the story, they said they're looking into using it again.